times. It's but we are going to talk about it. The sun has been beating down on the Tri-State area, and as AccuWeather predicted, it has made for the hottest and most humid day we have seen in a very long time. Here are the facts and figures. The temperature hit 96 degrees an hour to go, and there it stays, and that falls short of the record for the day by two degrees. But with the high humidity, the heat index is 102, and unless you have spent the day in a meat freezer, you know firsthand how uncomfortable that feels. Meanwhile, Sky 6 is aimed at the hazy Philadelphia skyline, and you can see the unhealthy air settling over Philadelphia. And in fact, the city has already declared a heat health warning again for tomorrow, just as it did today. Working on a day of sizzling heat, it felt like more than 100 degrees outside and the excessive heat triggered a health warning for senior citizens. News 10 at the Senior Center in South Philadelphia, where many heeded the warning to find shelter in a cool place. The city issues a hot weather health warning whenever the forecast calls for oppressive heat and high humidity. Now, it's a special call for help for seniors and homeless people. The number to call today only is 215-765-9040. Now, that line, and it's just for today, is open until midnight. Well, News 10 right now live inside the Pico Energy Center. A huge demand for power today as customers in our area try to beat the heat with fans and air conditioners. Now, Pico tells News 10 today's usage may top the all-time power record set during a week-long heat wave, and that was back in August of 1995. Right now you're looking at a live picture from the News 10 Skywatch high above our city. It's a good view of the hazy, hot, and humid conditions that we are simply baking in today. Let's go live right now to News 10's Herb Clark in the Weather Center for a look at how hot it got today. Herb. Well, Renee, no one likes to be reminded of how hot it is, but I think at this time it's nice to be told because the longer this heat holds on, and it was 96 degrees today in Philadelphia, the more life-threatening it can be, especially to the older, the infirm, and those with breathing difficulties. We're not alone. Pico's going to have trouble finding excess electrical power to bring into this area because, take a look, all over the eastern United States, that heat wave is, in effect, it's pure heat pumping up from out of the Gulf, bringing with it the moisture, making the discomfort level extremely high. Happily, though, while we're sizzling now, give it about another day, and the sizzle, I think, will start to fizzle because we see relief on the way. How do you spell relief, Ken? Well, some people, Herb, would uh, spell it M-A-L-L. -L. Yeah, because mall walking can be a good way to run some errands, get some exercise, and beat the heat. News 10 caught up with lots of people at the King of Prussia Mall this afternoon, some shopping, and certainly some just trying to keep their cool. Here's more advice for keeping cool and safe. During the searing heat, residents along the 3100 block of Tilton Street checked on their elderly neighbors, as health authorities advise. The elderly are among those most vulnerable during the hot weather. Just how hot does it get in these neatly kept row houses? 90, 93. It's hot. Many of the seniors on the block have air conditioners, but don't turn them on. Because I can't afford it. I can't pay the bill. Betty Lucier says that she's doing what the doctors advise. She stays cool by turning on her air conditioner. We both have heart problems and stuff like that, so uh, we need it. So the bill gets paid sooner or later. Health authorities say that neighbors taking care of neighbors is one of the best ways to prevent heat-related tragedies during the summer. Children, also vulnerable during the heat, usually play in area parks, but most parents seem to keep them away today. How hot is it? Too much. Pediatrician Dr. Joel Fine has a reminder for parents. And there's some good information out there that says that um, sunburns earlier in life can actually lead to skin cancers later in life. But for now, for both young and old, the best advice to protect yourself from the sun is to wear the proper clothing and the right sunscreen. Beverly Williams, News 3. And we will have an update. Well, actually, I'm in Ocean City, but I tell you, if you have to be outside today, this is the place to be right next to the water. There's been a pretty pleasant breeze here all day long, but not everyone was so prepared for the shore. Assignment Jersey Shore. But we had one small problem with my partner in crime, photographer Bob Ertle. What are you, you doing on your jeans on a day like this? I didn't know we were going to the beach. I didn't know it was going to be this hot. Bob, if you should listen to our exclusive Earthwatch forecast for once. We have to go get Come shorts. On, let's go. Crazy wearing jeans out here. It's like 100 degrees. Humidity's high. You bet it's hot out here, even right near the water. But don't worry, Bob had a credit card and he took care of his problem. Oh, Bob, nice legs. Oh, stop. 
<laughs> Come on, give me that camera. Let's go to work. What? Me? Operate the camera? <laughs> give me the camera. <laughs> All right, so the real professional took over. Then we were off to find out how people are beating the heat. Down here is like very, very cool. Up there on the beach, three seconds, your feet are burning. I think these people had the right idea. They were trying to hide underneath this pier. It was so hot out there, we couldn't take it another minute. We said, if we don't find someplace cool, we're going to pass out. This was it. What do you think? Do you agree? I was burning. My, my skin was burning. No, ma'am, you haven't seen skin burning until you check out the following. I didn't put anything on. <laughs> and you, you fall asleep in a chair and that's what happens. <laughs> this is actually like two or three days old, I guess. It was a lot worse a couple days ago. But that's nothing compared to the king or the expert of the sunburn. I learned over the years that uh, you know, if you get a little bit of a burn base, you burn better with less pain. There's a method to my madness. <laughs> a burn base. Imagine that. I'll tell you, that guy had oil all over his body. Not a good idea. Maybe tomorrow he'll try a little sunscreen. Live in Ocean City, I'm Sarah Schulte, News 10. Well, that's the story on the heat for now. And the haze started to build. That's why it's so important. If you have anything to do outdoors, do it in the early morning hours. Again, between about 1 and 5 o'clock in the afternoon, that's when the real oppressive conditions start to occur. And you can see from portions of New England all the way down to the southeastern states, that cluster of cloud cover, up to 50,000-foot cloud tops, that's where some of those big thunderstorms are now starting to fire up. As we check in with our regional radar picture, you'll see the activity now starting to ease into the left-hand part of your screen. Major storms across the Motor City of Detroit approaching portions of Cleveland. And a broader picture shows here's the activity we're looking at, that cold front from southeastern Michigan all the way back into some sections of Missouri. Again, slowly heading eastward. The Gulf Coast moisture heading north, and it's going to cause a nice textbook situation tomorrow for some heavy thunderstorms, followed by the treat as we go into the weekend of cooler temperatures. Vic and Lara Carini up in Phoenixville, 90 degrees there. Harry Hutchinson down in Pitts Grove, he's sweating it out. 96, 96 in Baltimore and Trenton right now at 92. Allergy sufferers, a real tough day. Take a look. All three categories high. Mold spores, this is the highest we've seen mold spores all year. So certainly uh, exercise a lot of caution. It's a warm one out there. Been Gosh. warm all day. Yeah, if there's anything good to say about it, though, these heat waves, they do go away in time. And I think ours is going to get a pretty good bump out of this area about this time tomorrow night with a batch of a line of showers, thunderstorms. At least that's what we're hoping. We'll settle for the showers, thunderstorms. We've got some cooler air behind it. See how you're suffering now. Last hour is 95 degrees here at NBC 10. Feels like 100 when you... Put in the discomfort index and all of that. 102, it feels like in Wilmington, where the thermometer is showing 97. It's 96 at Cherry Hill. 81 down at Stone Harbor. You picked up a little sea breeze down there, and it dropped the temperatures rather nicely. That's a good spot. What else spots have we got? 96 was our high today in Philadelphia, 72 this morning. Normal high would be 84. The record for the date is 98, set back in 1952. I'm glad we didn't make it. We came close enough at 96, though. It's 94 degrees now in Philadelphia, 84 in the Poconos, and the cool spots along the shore. Everybody else is getting the blistering. It's going to fizzle. The sizzle is in 24 more hours, though. It gets out of here. That's good, because it sets us up for some good-looking weather as we turn on into the weekend. Hot and humid is the call for tonight. I don't think we'll be under... Oh, maybe the middle 80s. By midnight tonight, it's going to be that kind of a sultry, humid, sticky, awful night. Hot and humid with a westerly breeze now. It continues tomorrow. We're the little white dot here at Philadelphia. Hot and humid, well into the 90s. This cold front represents the changeover. Showers and thunderstorms as it pushes on through here late tomorrow. But in the meantime, during the day tomorrow, we're back in this thing. Excessive heat warming. It's going to feel like 100 to 105 degrees, about like it did today. This is the 75 in the morning. Many places we expected the heat and the humidity. That's what we got today. People are trying to get some kind of relief, doing something, a little picnicking there, but uh, taking a snooze before lunch is served, a little rowing. They were all over the area just trying to stay cool. Look at the numbers. Officially in Philadelphia, we got up to 96. Atlantic City at the airport, 96. Wilmington, 94. Allentown, 93. Baltimore, 98. Some of the representative hot spots around the area. High pressure, two of them. 
moving off. We're still in that southerly flow. One more day of hot, humid weather. Then we've got this frontal system here to the north across Lake Erie and Ontario. Storm center here, another tendon front down here. All that's going to move through. In advance of that, tomorrow afternoon we get some thunderstorm activity. Some of it could be heavy with all the heat and humidity in place. Then the cooler air trying to come in behind the thunderstorms, the frontal system, and it cools off. So we've got one more day. But going to be a steamy night tonight. That's the call from AccuWeather. 87 in the Poconos at this hour. 91 in Allentown. 91 in Dover. Even down in Cape May, 86, 91, our low 72, and again the high, 96 degrees at 321. We're live on Sky 6 right now. Let's try and find the city. Ooh, you can feel, you can see and feel the humidity. Present temperature reading, 94 degrees. Relative humidity, 42%. The barometer, 2990 is falling. Winds out of the west, 13 miles an hour. The ocean water temperature is 62, and the heat index Heat index is 98 degrees for the 6 o'clock hour. 90, 93, 95, 94, 93, all good years. Exclusive Vacu with a five-day forecast tonight. Warm and muggy, 77 degrees. Tomorrow, one more day. Hot, hazy, and humid, 94 degrees. Afternoon thunderstorms, probably sometime after 3 p.m. Cools things off. Friday, cooler, less humid, 84, 86. Saturday looks good. Sunday looks good. A little more humid. And then we're back again to hot and humid on Monday. Long way off. So it'll be an uncomfortable night tonight, but another one weekend outlook. And at 50 after, the storm update. Right now on the Weather Channel, your local forecast. And at 50 after, the storm update. Right now on the Weather Channel, your local forecast.
and at 50 after the storm update. Right now on the Weather Channel, your local forecast. And at 50 after, the storm update. Right now on the Weather Channel, your local forecast. at night, don't use lighter fluid to barbecue. Use water-based paint instead of oil-based paint, and do not mow your lawn. A lawnmower, as compared to a new car, emits as much pollution into the atmosphere as if you drove your new car to Washington, D.C., roughly 130 miles. You run your lawnmower for a half hour. That's a lot of pollution. And there's no denying the damage that's being done. When the sky is so hazy, you squint to see. When the air is so heavy, it hurts to breathe. In Center City, Jacqueline Bolden, Fox News. And as Jacqueline mentioned, the Philadelphia Corporation for the Aging has set up a hotline for those who need information about coping with the heat. That number is 765-9040. And PICO is working to restore power outages at some 1,800 homes in Philadelphia and Delaware County. A PICO spokesperson says the system went down because of an equipment failure. And with the heat, the heat index, rather, it felt like 100 degrees out there today. And tomorrow could be worse. Here's Bob Garino with First Weather. 
Well, thanks, George. And it looks like tomorrow is going to be just like today, but we do have some relief in sight. That's the good news. And we are under an excessive heat warning for get tomorrow, just like we had today, meaning it will feel like in the shade between 100 and 105 degrees. Let's check out the numbers so far today. 96 was our high. The record high was 98, so we came close. But thermometers downtown in Philadelphia registered between 99 and 100 degrees. It was 72 this morning. Getting up tomorrow morning is not going to be fun. Hazy sunshine, muggy, temperatures at around 80 degrees. The relief is on the way, but we may pay for it. lasts a long, long, long time, they know... Okay, kid, run up and see if anybody's home. It's hard to stop a train. Visit an authorized train dealer near you. He can run the equipment of 200 miles per hour. The Weekend Outlook. And at 50 after, the Storm Update. Right now on the Weather Channel, your local forecast. temperatures in the mid 90s and then shake rattle and roll in the afternoon with the heavy thunderstorms and then voila tomorrow night friday less humid hey got travel plans the remnants of those big thunderstorms will be around for tomorrow morning's rush hour and we'll be looking at that coming up next that's on travel wise but first what do we have your local forecast indeed we do stay with us this is your local forecast weather information you can plan on only on the Weather Channel. 